Keeping a car is mostly a necessity these days. It's not considered a luxury anymore in the daily hustle and bustle of life. But even for a necessity a man can choose from so many options available in the market. There is a vehicle referred to as a lemon from such possibilities. Today we are going to go over the different benefits of this vehicle. Firstly, let's briefly go over what a lemon vehicle is. A lemon automobile has a serious flaw that the manufacturer cannot cure in a reasonable time. When a car is labeled a lemon, it cannot live up to the manufacturer's guarantee and the flaw cannot be repaired without redesigns or whole overhauls. While lemons are not frequent, they can occasionally appear and cause a great deal of annoyance for those who acquire them. Understanding the distinction between a lemon vehicle and a vehicle subjected to a recall is also critical. Recalls are quite common and must be performed occasionally, even on generally reliable vehicles. But what precisely are those distinctions? A recall implies that the manufacturer must repair a specific issue inside the vehicle within a reasonable length of time. This is generally accomplished through a formal announcement and marketing by the car maker, which is usually handled at a dealership. When an automobile designated a lemon, the significant flaw is more or less unfixable, and no recall is issued. There are other numerous lemon laws, and not all of them relate just to automobiles. In truth, both RVs and motorbikes can suffer from the same problems. In several places, if an item costs more than $25, it is subject to lemon laws. All automobiles that have been seriously harmed in any way are given a branded title. A lemon automobile is often one that has at least one manufacturing flaw that has a significant influence on the vehicle safety or functionality. The car warranty should cover these significant flaws and occur within a defined term. After a reasonable number of manufacturer fixes, the car must still exhibit this problem. The regulations governing what constitutes substantial and reasonable will differ from state to state. So make sure to understand your state's lemon title legislation. There are two types of lemon laws in the United States, federal and state. Both are intended to provide consumer protection in their manner and will differ based on the precise scenario involving the automobile, motorhome, motorbike, or any other form of product or motor vehicle labeled a lemon. According to federal lemon legislation, if a product has a problem that the maker cannot correct after a reasonable number of effort, the consumer is entitled to a refund or replacement. The federal lemon law does not specify how many tries are considered reasonable. In California, for example, the state lemon law requires at least two tries to correct the fault before the customer can apply the statute. Other jurisdictions, such as Michigan, give the manufacturer four efforts to correct the condition. Generally, if your car has been out of action and unavailable for use for more than 30 days owing to repair attempts, it is termed a lemon. When this happens, you will be entitled to either a refund or a new car. If you believe you have acquired a lemon car, one of the most crucial things you can do is get legal assistance. It is advisable to keep meticulous records of your interactions with the manufacturer throughout the procedure. Keep receipts for any repairs or attempts and transmit as much contact with the car maker as possible through the mail. This will provide you with a chronological record of all your encounters. Each state has its method and arbitration for invoking the lemon law. The manufacturer may potentially try to argue in court that your car is ineligible. However, the burden of proof is on the manufacturer. An experienced attorney can negotiate with you and the car maker to fix the issue and obtain a refund or replacement without going to court. Not every problem will result in a lemon vehicle. In most cases, manufacturers can correct any faults that arise with a car through a recall. However, understanding some instances of lemon vehicles and their significant flaws might help you identify a potential lemon vehicle before purchasing a new or used automobile. Elite Lotus is an example of a lemon car. The Lotus Elite suffered from significant cooling troubles, which produced a slough of faults throughout the engine. The most important consequence of this lack of cooling was a wrapped head gasket, which generally occurred after a few thousand miles, and required an engine rebuild. Under your state's lemon legislation, you might be compensated for repairs or given a replacement car. However, some lemon automobiles have controllable issues, which might be excellent news if you need to keep one or perhaps want to buy one. Now let's discuss some benefits of a lemon car. Regarding your automobile, there are several advantages to being aware of the lemon law. Let's take a closer look at these advantages. Also, when negotiating the purchase of an automobile, you should try to have an attorney with you. Number one, you can find a fantastic vehicle. Used automobiles provide an incredible bang for your buck. If you really are thorough in inspecting the vehicle before purchasing it, you may be able to receive a fantastic price on an incredible automobile. 
In rare circumstances, unusual clients overreact to specific events and use their entitlement under the Lemon Law. As a result, it does not necessarily imply that you will receive a true lemon. In some instances, the vehicle has minor flaws that cause it to perform poorly compared to other cars in its class. As an example, consider bodywork difficulties. There are some electrical gremlins. You get the idea. Number two, you'll save both time and expense. The primary benefit of automobiles with lemon-tittled cars is that they are relatively affordable. These are nearly new automobiles with a few thousand kilometers that are primarily available in near-perfect condition. You can save a lot if you can prevent expensive repairs in service centers. Your power to negotiate with the vendor and ensure that you are spending a fair price for the vehicle will significantly enhance if you get it inspected before you buy it. Number 3. Internet-used automobile sales are also covered. The internet has become a fantastic location to acquire a new automobile. Still, it also contains many used cars for sale by private parties. Some dealers have begun selling their merchandise on the internet to reach out to new clients who may not have previously considered purchasing from them. That doesn't mean warranty laws don't cover their vehicles. This is because owners must follow the terms and conditions outlined in the state lemon law for all automobile transactions, even secondhand ones. As a result, the lemon law protects the consumer rights regardless of where they purchase the automobile. Number 4. Lemon law protects the buyer. While the vehicle is under warranty, you have the assurance that the manufacturer covers anything you need to do for the life of your car and at a fair cost. They will be covered if there are flaws, such as a faulty gearbox or engine. An exceeded mechanical limits title is often found affixed to an automobile. With the odometer numbers flipped over a few times, you can determine if the vehicle is a lemon. Number 5. It gives auto business a sense of responsibility. The dealership is expected to comply with federal warranty rules and state lemon laws. In this manner, they are obligated to supply an automobile free of severe flaws. If the customer discovers such a flaw after taking delivery, the dealership is obligated to repair it. If it cannot be corrected after a reasonable number of effort, the consumer must reimburse for a challenging car buying experience. The lemon legislation is concerned with developing a sense of devotion to the quality of the goods offered. So that was it for today's video guys, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and leave a comment. Let us know in the comments below what kind of content you want to see in future videos. Till next time, take care everybody.